we're talking about the latest film called Revenge from, it's a French rape and revenge horror film. Um, it's been released this week, it stars Matilda Lutz and it's directed, interestingly, by a woman. Well, all I knew was that it was a film about rape and ever since I've had the girls, I can't watch anything with rape. So all I knew was I was really nervous about watching, watching it. In terms of the story, one guy heads out with his girlfriend into the Moroccan desert to go hunting. He invites two of his mates over. They spend a night getting drunk. She's very flirtatious with the, her boyfriend's two friends. The following morning, the boyfriend goes off to get a, a hunting permit and sadly, one of the guys proceeds to rape her. After which, she then runs off and the film turns into a seek and find horror fest. Yes, <laughs> I mean, yeah, truly a gore fest and horror fest. Mm -hmm. But from the get-go, I think from the very beginning of the film, I was struck, and you said you were struck, Nadia, by the, the colours. It felt very promising, didn't it? Because they were almost unreal, weren't they? But what were our feelings at the beginning of the film as we were sort of setting it up in this villa? And, um, I had a feeling of dread. I was unnerved. Yeah, I as far as I did. Every single thing was making me jump. There's a party scene and they're all having a great time, drinking, laughing, smoking, and she's really enjoying her youth and her beauty and the attention she's got. These three men, she's madly in love with her lover, and then she's got these two kind of stooges that she's kind of using a bit because she's young and she's a bit mm. pissed, so she's dancing with them and she's doing her best dancing and she's getting the attention and she's loving the attention. Mm. And, she's, and she's also jealous because her lover has a wife, so she's trying to make him jealous by dancing with these two other guys, something that has been done since the beginning of time. What would be the percentage in the world of people watching that will immediately go, well, whatever happens to you, it's your fault. Mm. Well, she's in these tiny shorts, isn't she? Mm. She's got this beautiful body. That's but I, the I way would of say the world. No, more, we don't I would say it's even more complicated than that, because as a father, if she was my daughter and I'd known she'd done that prior mm. to being raped, I couldn't hand on heart say, she doesn't deserve it, but I couldn't hand on heart say, you didn't encourage it, because I know what men are like. But men are roaring animals, not, not some men, men are. I'm not saying all men are, but if my daughter goes out wearing next to nothing and is flirtatious with lots of men, I Do know that her risk yeah. goes through the roof. Exactly, and that's, that's right. That's not correct. Say. That's not correct. It's like we would say to you, Maddie, don't walk down the street a bit drunk and not knowing where you are because you would be vulnerable mm. to an animalistic person. Yeah. Yes. Not you would be wrong for wearing what no. you're wearing or drinking, but that just there are people out there yeah. that yeah. would take advantage of you. So annoying though, because a man would be told that. I, I find myself tugging with that thought of, am I, in terms of the story of the film, thinking, well, it's not a surprise this has now happened. This is not a surprise. They're animals. Except, no, we weren't surprised. Just, Except no. that, and, and this is where I'd say the thing about, I, I sort of started to think pretty early on that it was a female director because somehow the way she shot it all went backwards and forwards between the girl mm. and the men. And what happens at the next morning when he's gone to um, get the permit and everything and they're left, she's left alone with the two men. One of them's in the pool and he's hung over, so in a way he's not there at all. The other one, the one that she flirted more overtly with doing this in, in the night before, starts this conversation with her and then you can see how young she how is. Young, how young and vulnerable she's so young. Her scene. boyfriend yeah. isn't there. Yeah. She just wants to get up and it whack her things. It's a heartbreaking scene. scene. He, he says, well, what's different about last, yeah. now and last night? She grown searches for something yeah. and says, tall, you know, she yeah, said, you're, you're too small. You can, but, but before I all of that, cool. I think the thing is, the fact that it was a female director made it easier for me because she has the camera on this actresses on the on the female character's bum all the way through before the really the rape right, don't yeah. we and so what you're doing is as, a, as it's sort of playing with your mind because as a viewer you're thinking well why is she just flashing a bubble mm. time why is she walking that way but of course that's just where the camera has been put mm. this is a young woman who's beautiful who's just walking across the room mm. in her own beauty yeah. and well, in her own power and with her own confidence <coughs> but it's the men that are only looking yeah. at her butt. And interestingly, whenever you go to the camera shots, I'd be interested to look at it again, they're often at the uh, height level of, of the men's the men. view. Yeah. And yeah. I heard an interview with the director and the lead actress on the oh. radio, and when asked the question, but surely objectifying a woman's bottom and showing it on a screen and seeing it as a thing that's worthy of sort of desire and maybe taking advantage of, it doesn't matter whether a woman or a man's done it, you're looking at the bottom in the same way. And they, interestingly, uh, Matilda Lutz's reply was, I love my body. 
Yes. And if I want to show my body off, why does that automatically make it a victim's body? Exactly. Yeah, really and I thought that was a really yeah, yeah. powerful thing to say. You know when you've heard people say, well, she got raped because of what she was wearing. Yeah. She got so, raped so, because of some so animal. So you raped the outfit, you didn't rape yeah. the girl. She got no, raped no, because no. some <laughs> animal wanted power And over also, her. yeah, mm. it, that was clearly shown in the, in the exchange between the man and the woman before he raped yeah. her, in the sense that he trapped her with that, with Christ. what he was saying. And yeah. you could see the youth of her, where she yes. thought, what the hell can I say to someone? Oh, I'll say, oh, I I say the worst men. thing I can think of, because when, you know, he comes back with his report. I don't think she, she purposefully meant it. She was searching no, for something. Oh, God, it, it absolutely yeah. meant it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But we just, all knew, yeah. as older people, that for a man that felt powerless, yes. and She's also her yeah. boyfriend had all the power in all of the relationships. Yes. Yes. So the fact that he could feel somehow powerful over her yeah. lover as well, who was yes. the bully of yeah. him, yes. by yes. raping her, yes. and kind of knew that because it wasn't his wife, she was going to be a bit of me. Yeah. It was just so fascinating, the power struggle between the men. The third guy mm. is an interesting character, because of course he comes to the door and he sees that the rape is about to happen. And his yeah. choice at that point, which I felt the, acu the film The Accused dealt with as well, about it the did, people watching it? being yeah. as bad as the people doing, in a sense, was that he saw what was happening. And that then, shot of him eating. And that shot oh of him eating. The that chocolate. was the point at which Putting it in his mouth. Was it chocolate or nuts? It was, that was, was a chocolate It was, uh, it was like girl. chocolate yes. They look like yeah. mini yeah. penises yeah. there. But that was the point when I went to you guys. I'm just not very happy. So basically, she fell asleep when she was crying about the fact that she got raped. Mm. Um, and he wakes her up, the nice Boyfriend. one. But she said she wanted, she wanted the helicopter to come now and take her home. She said, do that or I'll tell your wife about what's happened between us. So he punched her. At that point he completely turned. So yeah. still at that point we think he's the caring lover, don't we? Yeah, and then he punched her and he was just like, you know, don't you ever talk to me like that. And she ran away and then they all chase her. She Can't reaches, find that bit? Yeah. she, she well. gets to a cliff edge and she can't run anymore and she stops there. They stand just in front of her and you're like, oh, please don't do anything to her. But then he calls the helicopter guy. You want the helicopter? And says, yes. you want the I'll, exactly. I'll the helicopter. Yeah. 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 And says that he's coming to get her as soon as possible. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's amazing. Yeah. And then, you know, he walks over to her and like pushes her off the cliff and she falls onto like a sharp tree <laughs> stick and you're just like, no. Yeah. It's just, it's just so shocking. Yeah. Even though I'd seen it in the trailer, it was just a shocking seeing it in the film. And mum walked out by that point. I then went to bed. Oh my God, I feel quite emotional. I just think of all the women all over the world that are just treated like a piece of meat. Mm. And the way that he was just stuffing his face with that chocolate. Well, there was this man about mm. to rape her, mm. and she looks at him with such pleading. Mm. And she's like, no, no, no. And he just turns around and walks out and goes for a swim. Yeah. And I thought it was really clever what the director did, that while she was being raped, she's looking out of the window. Yeah. And she almost hated him more. Yes. Yeah. Because bad things happen when good people stand by and allow it. I was drawn to seeing how she would meet out her revenge. Yeah, well, no, but because it said it was a feminist film, I wanted to stick and with it, also to review it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but also, I, I, you know, I wanted to see how she was going to get back at them, yeah. because I felt like as you were going through the film and after the rape and everything, you kind of feel, you definitely feel her anger, oh, yeah, and yeah. you're just like, just kill them in the worst way possible. Yes, yes. exactly. Nadia, having left the film arts this morning, also presumably she went back and got them, but it didn't become a straightforward revenge. They no. continued to hunt her. They did, right. And so they were oh, hunters, weren't they? They, they? they were hunters. The best kind of hunting. And she was meat, as, you, as we yeah, all said. Yeah. She's pushed by her so-called boyfriend. She goes, uh, a twig goes through her. A branch. A branch, and at that point, or sort of small tree. Yeah. And at that point, I thought, oh, well, that's got to kill her. Well, at that point, I thought the whole film entered a magic realist I moment. I did, too, where it's kind of I like... did. No, no, I do think there is a possibility that she could have survived. No, whether no, she, there, there is. Whether she would have survived point. that long with the inside of yeah. her no, stomach. No, 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 she, she would. No, no, like, no, I'm not saying you're not right, but I'm just saying that I think, because mum, you know, when mum stayed until quite a while of her being on the tree yes. trunk. Um, Mum said, oh, you can't have survived that. Yeah, you, you can. said that if you if you don't hit a special Major organ, no, Major then, organ you can. Uh, there was really, I really liked the shot though of the ant that was underneath her yeah. and the blood dripping on it. That was it was trying brilliant. To get out. Yeah, good, yeah well remembered, it? Mads. That I was, was like, it's so sad brilliant. you just killed an ant for a shot. But it made you, <laughs> what I thought was clever about that was it made you reflect on all life because you yeah. were seeing things, it's yeah. all about point of Oof. view. One drop of blood. One was drop of blood yeah. was hitting that ant on the floor and it was 
struggling to get back up. And yet, in a weird way, it was a metaphor for what she was about to exactly. become. Exactly. It's really interesting, though, because when the men come back to get her, uh, they look over the cliff oh, and yeah. there's all this burnt area. Do they think it's and a biblical happening? <laughs> and, no, because I was thinking they're going to think that somebody burnt her as yes, evidence, or maybe she died because she burned yeah, herself. Yeah. And then she just gets to the cliff and yeah. puts herself against it, and they look over and she's like, yeah, that's she's gone, she's gone. And what do they think? Where do, well, the they, rapist screams, they, and he's like, no, no. Yeah, but well, they, they uh, think she's been taken at that point. They say, it's, one of them says, oh, she's been taken. Because, can I just say, there was the cleverest moment then kicks in at that moment in terms of the men in the film. Because at this point, it's very easy to, to just dismiss the men as all horrific and horrible, which they are. And then a really clever thing happened with Vincent Colomb's character, the where rapist. they twisted the three of them into suddenly the only one who had a voice of reason and rationale and potential out for the woman mm. was him when he said, come on guys, let's just get lawyers, go back and let's fight this in court. Yeah. And I got goosebumps at that point because I was thinking, yeah. oh my God, the man who raped her could be her saviour. Yeah. yeah. Not a flip round because then yeah. you, were, you were kind of because, clutching at him for But that's the sanity. fascinating thing about the human condition, is it? Not everybody, people just aren't one, one thing, thing or no. another. He might have been a rapist, a weak man that needed yeah. to feel he had power, but he in may have also been a be decent nice. But also <laughs> what, she was, no, what the director was trying to do at that stage, and she succeeded beautifully for me, was put the all the uh, pain and conflict between the men, yes. which she did fabulously, yeah. because wow. it starts to bubble there, doesn't yeah. it? Wow. Really and a it lot. starts to fall apart. Well, I don't know, I've gone to bed. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Although he raped her and that was absolutely awful, you suddenly had more trust in him than you yes. did in the yeah. boyfriend. Yeah. Did you? So you totally yeah. switched. Right. It was very Obviously, you thought he might have saved her. Yes. That's so you truly thought what, that he yeah. had. Ah. But he had then, obviously, him. as you got further in, you just know that they're all evil. And... Yeah. So the film then moves into a gore, I mean, truly, a gore fest. <coughs> yeah. And when I say a gore fest, I mean... But it was good, because it's all because of the movie. Yeah, there were some dream sequences where I've never known heads be blown to smithereens oh. in the manner that they were. It yeah. was like yeah. goo. It made Pulp Fiction look like a walk in the park. Yeah, mm. yeah, because there's a scene where she's like cutting um, around the stick pulls it out and it goes on for so long. Oh my God. Is that why you were screaming when you were watching yeah. it? Yeah. And then much. like when she's breathing in and out, like blood oozes yes. from it. But, but she's, then she she's really clever and she kind of cuts around a beer can, she burns it. Yeah. And then that's when I thought, I don't know, it really annoyed me that she got a tattoo. From, there's a moment where she wakes up and you think it's real life. And, um, oh my God. and she turns around the corner and the young guy's there and he shoots her in the head and her head explodes. And you're just like, and you're like wait, what? I cannot begin to say anything other than if you like those kind of films, it's a, a river of blood does run through it. Mm. And it becomes increasingly sort of inventive. Though I have to confess, I felt some of the payoffs with some of what happens to some of the characters a little disappointing. The one thing I wish she would have done out of what she, she did to them, um, I wish it could have been more. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I wish it could have been more. It wasn't worse. enough. Every woman yeah. in the she didn't, she didn't, would have she didn't, yeah. Yeah. She didn't, yeah, she didn't make them Vengeance feel pain enough. Vengeance wasn't sweet enough. No, exactly. So, is it a feminist film? Yes. Yes. I think you'd have to really try and, because <clears throat> it's not an obvious feminist no. film, a bit like Handmaid's Tale, that's not an obvious mm. feminist story, because what the stuff, the stuff that happens to the women are really awful. Yes. And uh, I think you'd really have to think about whether it's a feminist film, because th these awful things happen to her and yes, yeah, she gains revenge. But I think people would argue that she was, even when she was fighting, she was too sexually Too dressed. sexualized. Maybe. It was too sexualized. I guess when she was fighting with the show. Because she looked as gorgeous walking around she looked, with her sort of scarf. She still looked gorgeous, she still had her makeup. But is, she did, but is, but is that is, a bad thing? She is looks that a bad calm. thing? No, no, but I just think if other people. If you told people that it was a feminist yeah, film yeah, and you right. go and see it, you just think it's a bit sexualized. But isn't that a feminist film in that she was what she was? Yeah, no, I'm she... not. I, I, yeah, you know, I know think, what you're saying. saying. Other people yeah. would like. But it's like, it's like when you look at comics, superhero comics and stuff the superhero women in it are very sexually dressed. Yeah. You could argue that that's because they can dress however they want, or you can it's ask true. that that's them sexualizing women. But that's also, very true. it's very, 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 very true. So you just pick and choose where you want to flip it, yeah. where yeah. the emphasis, that's very yeah, true. Yeah, good point. Yeah, Lara Croft is, oh well no, that's because that. Because if those comics were illustrated by women, everybody would say, well that's feminist, but if it's illustrated by a man, then it's sexualized. But why can a man not yeah. depict a woman as strong and still well, admire exactly. her body? That's yes. Mm. I just felt she was strong 
I mean, she was running, she was... Fighting. No, no, she was, yeah. she was definitely yeah. strong. But I felt at that point we could have stopped with the shots of the bum. It could have oh, just... there were shots of the bum I don't after. remember the shots yeah. of the bum after. Yeah, which is walking with a gun. It's yes. like the bum again. Well, I have to say, yeah. I've never heard so many noises from you watching the film. <laughs> I mean, you squealed, No, you explain that she had headphones on. She had headphones on. That's yeah. why she was making all these noises. And Nadia walked out. So it's a film of strong reaction. It is. Yeah. Well, even in this review, it was a no show. It was a no show. I mean, I thought we were all going to start fighting. Feminist film or not, it scores out of 10 and reasons why, uh, Nanny died. 8.5. Boy, that's so high. Yeah, and because it was a, because it was a, it was two, I got two films for the price of one. Oh. <laughs> and yeah. it was um, gory, it was like a, a body horror up to a point it with the amount horror. of bod, uh, blood and everything else. But the strong woman, the fact that you didn't know how it was going to go next. Uh, Nadia, what would you give it, given you saw, I think, 20 minutes of it? I would give it a nine for Whoa. the 20 minutes I saw. Mm -hmm. Nine, really? I loved the direction. I thought the acting was impeccable. Yeah. I thought they were yeah. all in their truth. I thought it was 100% authentic. Mm. I was unnerved. I was petrified. It was unsettled. I felt sick. It made me cry when I went <laughs> upstairs to bed. It made me think about rate and what it means. Sometimes you just go to see a film because you want to, what did we see last week? I feel pretty. Laugh, a bit of a laugh, a bit of a joke. That made you think, but it was just too much for me. It was just yeah. too set, I'm yeah. just too. God, you got all of that and you only stayed for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie. Um, I'm at, you guys scored so high. I'm actually going to go for like a five. Ooh, okay, because, God, tell us why. Um, I don't know, I thought the trailer was really, really promising. And from seeing the trailer, the film was disappointing in comparison. In what way? I thought it was really slow. And I didn't feel, I, at the end of it, I felt like I sat through a really slow build up and didn't really get anything at the end of it. Oh. I felt like it was, she was strong, but I didn't feel she was strong enough. I didn't feel her anger as much as I could have when she was seeking revenge. Mm. That's interesting, um, isn't it? Mm. I don't know, I thought the acting was really good uh, from her and the rapist especially. I wasn't too sure about the other two yeah. guys. But not after she'd been raped, is that what you're saying? I Did just, she... I don't know. She was very good at being in pain and being scared. I didn't believe her anger. I thought she could have really felt it more. It was one oh. note a bit, you're It was right. a bit one note. She was yeah. very, she, because when she was holding the gun, she was like, if you've been raped by a guy and you yeah, found him special. and you know that you have the chance to shoot him, you are going to have a bit of anger in your face. At one point I was getting a bit mm -hmm. fidgety. I thought the gore was good, but then to yeah. a certain extent it felt a bit like too comedy. Yeah, I was laughing. I was I, laughing. I uh, yeah. So I'm going to give it a 6.5. Uh, I felt it really lost its way at the point that she pulled herself off the spike. Mm. Um, and I felt it's sold and its title is Revenge and I thought all of its successes were in the build up to the point at which revenge should have been meted and I thought at the point that revenge was in action it, it, it dropped the ball. I think it's going to become a cult, cult. classic yeah. and I think it'll become one of those films shown at cinemas like the yeah. Prince Charles where people cheer at the bits yeah. that we know are coming and because and, the gore and the goo yeah. when, yeah. she, when she gets yeah. revenge when she gets, when she gets yeah. revenge when, when definitely she oh, yeah, after yeah, yeah, yeah. she you has, only saw the rape bit but yeah. all the bits where but it, yeah. it becomes so gory and I think as Maddie says it becomes so ridiculous it that you, it's kind of yeah. laugh out loud yeah, it's, yeah it's, like because yeah. like after she's obviously when she's on when she falls off the cliff that's a horrible one but all of the stuff that happens from there is just laugh, laugh. Yeah, yeah. It's I think we have a new star. I think we have Matilda Lutz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Star. She's, she's a new fabulous. star. She's very fabulous. good. Star, massive star. She's going to be. And I think we might see the guy again, Vincent. Vincent Colomb. Vincent Colomb. 